it going, everybody? Um, yeah, I am here in uh, somewhere in Florida, <clears throat> and uh, it's getting close to checkout time, so I wanted to make a really short video. It's been a while for the uh, Bend in Your Ear series, and um, yeah, out here, uh, somewhere close to Tampa, Florida. We played last night, had a great show in um, Winter Haven at the Graham Parsons Dairy Down. Um, yeah, it's an awesome place out here. Um, Graham Parsons, I guess, started it in the 60s. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, it, it I guess it didn't have anything for a while. And then the, the new owners fixed it up. And they've had, you know, some great shows out here. And then Rodney Crow was just here last year. And, um, yeah, we had a great time. Sold out show last night. Um, I don't know when I'll post this video, but... If it's today, when I'm recording this, we're playing another sold out show tonight in Sarasota, Florida. Um, so yeah, great, great time out here in Florida this weekend. Um, thank you all for coming out to the shows and um, yeah, good time. It's, uh, I'm enjoying the scenery here at the hotel. There's a lot of palm trees and you can't see them, but take my word for it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to make a, uh, another one of these videos this uh bend in your ear series where i just talk about stuff um yeah i'm uh still getting in the hang of doing these so uh yeah if y'all have anything you want me to talk about let me know in the comments um i need to come up with a theme song for this thing so i want to work on that at some point <laughs> so i won't play crappy versions of beaumont rag at the beginning um but yeah i wanted to talk about um just a little bit about tabs versus ear training. Um, one of the big questions that I always get on, um, on most of my videos is, uh, you know, it, it'll at least be 10 times that somebody will request tabs. And, uh, and I always have the same answer and I'm always apologetic for it, but, um, I can't help with tabs. Um, cause I don't, I can't, I, I don't read them or write them. Um, I'm completely lost with tabs. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, and you know, I do have a, uh, an instructional course, uh, over at bigmusictent.com and it has a ton of tabs. Uh, everything I talk about is tabbed out in that video. Uh, and we had some difficulties with that because we had to go through, you know, like 10 people had to check tabs on these videos because I, I can't check them, you know? And, um, so I wanted to make sure before we put them out that they're right, you know, um, because I don't want to put out something that's wrong. And um, and so, yeah, it went through a lot of people to make sure those tabs were right. And, uh, you know, and then I just have to trust their their word for it. And, uh, you know, obviously it, I, I work with people that I trust and, and all that good stuff. So, you know, it, it worked out. But when people request tabs, I always, you know, I feel bad because I can't help out at all. Um, and I know it's a big thing. You know, a lot of people learn with tabs. Um, you know, I'll, I'll kind of go behind my reasoning of, uh, learning by ear, which is how I play guitar. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it's, it's just how I learned, you know, it's it, just sitting around listening to records and, um, and it, it was not something that came to me immediately. You know, everybody sort of assumes you can either do one or the other, you're in one camp or the other. Um, and that's not necessarily true. I know plenty of people that play by ear primarily that also read and write tabs. Um, but, you know, and vice versa, people that learn from tabs that also play by ear. Um, you know, but it's one of those things where when I first started out learning, you know, I took guitar lessons from this great teacher out in East Tennessee, GC Matlock, who's, you know, one of the greatest guitar players ever, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, he, he taught me a lot of the Carter family tunes and everything. And it was just, you know, two people sitting in a room, you know, him playing. And me copying what he's playing, you know, just, just copying. Um, and I remember the first song that, you know, I'd been playing for a couple weeks. And I, I really wanted to learn something on my own. And the first song that I sat down and tried to work on the melody to... I probably can't remember it now, but um, it was Larry Sparks' version of uh, I've Just Seen the Rock of Ages, which is, you know, super cool song that uh, Larry has such a cool guitar break on as he does on all his songs. But I just remember sitting and, and trying to work on that melody. I'm 
sure what I played was, you know, just very... You know, but it's melody based. And so I would try to pick out the notes of the melody um, and play those. And that's how it all started, you know, it was just hearing a, a, a note that was sung and trying to figure it out on the guitar. I've, I've heard people talk about, you know, um, there's there's a guitar player that I've taught with at camps before that has um, talked about, well, if you play by tabs, you know, and that's how you learn, at least try to figure out a few things, you know, even if it's just happy birthday, sing the notes of happy birthday and try to, you know, happy birthday to you. It's very early in the morning, so I'm not going to sing, but, um, you know, pick out those notes and, um, and play along with yourself singing them. And if you can't do that, then work on it till you can. Um, because ear, the, the whole ear thing is very important in bluegrass music. You know, it's, uh, as far as improvisation goes, you know, that's where it all comes from. You know, I, I hear things and try to play them. You know, that's, um, that's just how I play, you know. Um, and that's not to say that tabs aren't great, you know. But um, oftentimes I feel like you can get really attached to them, you know. And when you're at a jam you can't pull out a sheet of tab or a sheet of music and, and play George Mail, you know, or um, Fireball Mail or whatever, you know, any mail song. <laughs> you can't play them with a sheet of tab uh, in front of you, you know? And so I always tell people, if you learn like that, that's great. However you learn how to play the guitar is great. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, including me. But um, always try to figure it out by ear. You know, and a prime example of that is like, how I work on new songs. Um, and I'll kind of go about this in different angles because, you know, when I learn, lyrically, when I learn a new song, how I do it is um, I write the lyrics down by hand. And, um, you know, I'll go through the song and listen in little short intervals and write the set of lyrics down. And that helps me to memorize the song quicker if I write it down by hand, you know, physically do something to learn the song. Um, and that's, I kind of approach learning guitar breaks like that. Like if I was listening, you know, when I was learning like, uh, Mule Skinner Blues by Tony Rice, that break. forever to learn that but it was just sitting and listening to him play and trying to figure it out even like just the vibrato that he did on those notes like if you hear that when he plays it really fast you barely hear that vibrato but it's there it's kind of like when he would do that it goes by really quick, but it's there. That vibrato is there. And so playing by ear, you know, you might miss that on the, the, the tabbed out sheet. Uh, and again, you know, it's not, I'm not saying that tabs are bad. Um, if they help you learn, that's great. I'm just saying also work on ear training stuff. Um, and, you know, that can also be a, a big help as well. But going back to lyrically, you know, when I'm learning a new song, I'll write down the lyrics. And, uh, and so like now I'm, I'm working on, we're getting ready to do this tour with Rodney Crow, And so to, you know, I'm familiar with a lot of these songs, but there's a lot of new ones from his new record. And so when I'm, um, at, when I'm going to be playing guitar on these songs. So, um, uh, air conditioner just come on. So hopefully that's not too loud, but, um, you know, when I'm working on these new songs, I'll write the tab down or not the tab. I'm sorry. I'll write down the Nashville number system. Uh, for these songs, you know, so I'll just go through and it's just, you know, what chord changes that the number coincides with, you know, so like if it's in G, G's your one, C's your four, D's your five, um, that sort of thing. And I'll write down the numbers to those songs and then I'll practice along with that and, you know, maybe once or twice with the sheet and then I throw the sheet away. And, you know, I figure, uh, if I can't play it by the third pass, then I'm then something's wrong, um, you know. And and so that's how I approach it. And um, you know, I, I'll just say that 
when people ask for tabs, I'll go ahead and apologize to everyone that um, I can't help you. And, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody out there can. But just, you know, going over the way that I approach songs is listening by ear. You know, for instance, the Rodney Crow thing, you know, there's um, a song that I'm not sure if we're going to do it or not, but I, I love his Houston Kid record. And there's that song, Wondering Boy, on there that's, that's such a great guitar solo on that song. You know, it's like. You know, there's so many cool things in that guitar break, and but I just sat and listened to it and took it, you know, like in those short four or five notes at a time and just listen to it over and over and over again and pick out where on the guitar neck he's playing those notes. And, um, you know, for me, that, that helps me memorize it. It's almost like writing down the lyrics of a song physically hearing a note and trying to figure out where it is on the guitar neck helps me to learn it. Um, and again, that's not, that's not saying if you learn by tabs, perfect. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, but you know, I kind of want to approach these videos as here's what I do. <laughs> and if it helps, great. Uh, if not, then I'm sorry. But, um, you know, that's, that's how I go about it. And, um, yeah, again, hopefully that helps y'all. I, I will say to, you know, if you primarily learn by tabs, try to work on a few songs, uh, and they can be really simple, but just maybe even songs that you can sing the melody to and try to pick them out on your guitar, you know. Um, just like I said, the first song I worked on was I've Just Seen the Rock of Ages, you know. And uh, just the very simplest. simplest part of it. And, you know, try to work on melodic bass stuff, you know, and, and see if that helps. But building your ear is such an important part of this type of music that I would highly recommend working on it. Well, it's checkout time in Florida, so um, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, I was going to end with a song. I don't know what song I'm going to do, but uh, let's see. See, we did Graham Parsons last night, so I'll, I'll end with uh, talking about Devil in Disguise. She's a devil in disguise, you can see it in her eyes. She's telling dirty lies, she's a devil in disguise, in disguise. Like that, all she does is hate you. She doesn't know what makes a man a man. She'll talk about the time that she's been with you. She'll speak your name to everyone she can. She's a devil in disguise, you can't see it in her eyes. She's telling dirty lies. She's a devil in disguise, in disguise. Jealousy and doubt well, It gets her all to see a person crying She's just the kind you can't live without She's a devil in disguise You can't see it in her eyes She's 
telling dirty lies. She's a devil in disguise, in disguise. Whenever you are looking for a dime Well, it's alright to call her But I'll bet you That the moon is full And you're just wasting time She's a devil in disguise You can see it in her eyes She's a telling dirty lies She's a devil in disguise In disguise See y'all later.